All right, you too. So I got to speak on this one now. First, it was Ghostbusters. Now it's this. Power Rangers. My reaction to it. I'm going to try to stay as positive as possible. As I always do, or as I always try to do. When I'm making my little commentaries, or, you know, making my uh, other videos. But then I got to slip over to the side and be like, I got to keep it real. I just got to keep it real. Now, just a quick backdrop, you know, a quick history about, you know, me and my relationship with the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, even though they didn't name it the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It was just the Power Rangers. Now, I was about like seven or eight when the first pilot came out. And I remember that pilot vividly. I mean, we was... When we were children, we we wouldn't know staying at the school. Brothers was trying to get home. People was trying to get home because we had to see what was going. It was like Empire. It was like um, it was like uh, Power. That was our our Power Rangers. That's how we viewed the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We we had to catch every ep- episode, like when Sex in the City was out and Marrow's Place and and Nine O Two One O. Things like that, you know, we had to go see it. So I was about seven, eight years old and I was instantly hooked. I mean, I was I was the type of little kid. I just, you know, motherfuckers wouldn't be around. I'd be in the living room. I'm I'm moving the couches and the furniture and, and have this big ass clear space, a goddamn room. And I'm kicking in high yard and shit. I'm in the motherfucking living room getting it in. Kicking imaginary niggas asses and shit. That's what Power Rangers did for me. But they didn't go this route. This is not what they did. They went somewhere else. Strangely, oddly, for some reason, they didn't follow the recipe. And that's what I thought that they were going to do. They were going to follow the recipe. They didn't keep it 100 in this one. So the first thing I seen very early was a cell phone i'm like y'all done fucked up already why don't y'all just keep it 100 stick to the recipe for example the beauty and the beast didn't take place in the goddamn 1980s it was in the century that it was it was in you know encoded at that's where it took place that's what they did for it they did that with beauty and the beast why not the Power Rangers. Oh, we're trying to appeal to the millennials. Or the millennials. Or however you say that shit. No. Fuck that right now. This is a classic. This motherfucking shit is a classic. For us. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This was the biggest shit of all time. Back in the day. This shit was bigger than Pokemon and shit. When it first came out. That shit beat everything. That shit beat out the goddamn uh all the cartoons if you know to my knowledge. Ninja Turtles and Batman and Spider-Man and Superman, X-Men, motherfucker Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So that was my shit. That was what I was on. That was on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I was on Mortal Kombat and shit like that. That's my shit. That's my time right there. Motherfuckers uh, fucked up my whole goddamn childhood with that shit. So I seen the cell phone. I was like, oh, no, y'all should have kept it. Y'all should have kept it early 90s. Come on, 93. Come on now. Jason was not no badass, first of all. He wasn't getting arrested and putting on uh, house arrest and shit like that. Yeah, y'all want to shake it up and everything like that, but nigga, stick to the recipe. Jason was a, a uh, martial artist. He was a, a a teacher, a student. And the whole time I'm watching this motherfucker, the whole time I'm like, I'm thinking there's going to be cameos. I'm thinking that. I mean, come on, Power Rangers. No cameos from any of the original old school Power Rangers. None. I dropped the ball again. So already it's at about seven out of ten. Then no bulk and skull. No bulk and skull. Bulk and skull is the Power Rangers. I mean, these motherfuckers used to go around saying they knew who the identity of the Power Rangers were. 
once it got deep into the seasons and shit, because they had to keep their identity. The bulk and score came in with the motherfucking Power Rangers and the fucking goddamn pilot. They came with them. No bulk and skull. They lost two points for that shit. So now you at five out of ten stars for that shit alone. No bulk and skull. I'm like, these motherfuckers is tripping. Who wrote this shit? Like uh, TK said, who raised you niggas? Who raised y'all? So I'm just sitting there watching and I'm 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 about to fall asleep on this shit. I'm like, I can't believe that they are doing this. I'm sitting here at halfway through the movie, I'm like, the goddamn new Lego movie is better than this. The new Lego movie is better than this shit. I mean, even what they did with, with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I mean they they remade that what uh three times? Cause the ones was early in the early nineties, and I think they had came out one before the one that they came out with now. That shit was cool. I like that one. But these Power Rangers, they probably gonna have to do another one. They gonna have to do another one. I'm sorry, you gonna have to. They was like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no, fuck that shit. I mean, props to all the all the actors and the new new faces and everything like that. I give all props to them. They did their thing or whatever. They did what they were supposed to do. But the directors and, and, the, and the producers and the writers, they fucked up. They got it all fucked up all the way around. Now, like I said, I understand that, you know, they wanted to appeal to the millennials and everything. And, you know, there's a lot of sensitivity going on with shit and different subjects and topics and everything. But, hey. You still got to stick to the recipe. I mean, you know, you got the you got the gay the gay Power Ranger. Who cares? How is that a marketing strategy? How is that going to make uh you know people want to watch the movie more just because you got a, a a gay Power Ranger? That's not marketing. That's that's appealing to a demographic. It's a sexual orientation. A sexual orientation it, it wouldn't be considered a fucking demographic. People get sensitive with this shit. Whose idea was that? I'm saying it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, um, it wasn't right, but it was just like the cell phone. Like, I mean, y'all could have waited till, till y'all made uh power Rangers galaxy for that shit or the or power Rangers turbo or some shit like that. To bring in that shit or whatever. Stick to the fucking recipe. You know, Billy, Billy could have been, the black ranger he he could have still been the black ranger he could still been the, the melanated black ranger and he still could have been smart he didn't he didn't have to be zach it was yeah i guess billy and the power rangers is synonymous with being smart but zach and billy trading places as far as the the uh the colors is concerned that everybody is fucking sensitive about it because it had been a bunch of outlash about why Zach got to be the melanated ranger and blah, blah, blah. Niggas be sticking to the recipe. I'd have put Zach as, as the black rangers, the melanated ranger, and he still would have been smart. Hell, all of them could have been smart. Like I said, in, in the original power rangers, um, most of them were had some type of knowledge of martial art. I mean, Kimberly, what she did is she attached gymnastics to martial arts. Zach was a dancer. He combined that with martial arts. Jason was already a martial artist. Trini, she was she was doing her thing, her tai chi and everything. And the only one who didn't know really know how to do it was Billy. But eventually, he was taught how to do it. That was just being sensitive, you know, but like I said, you got to stick to the recipe. They didn't stick with the recipe. So then, you know, I, like I said, like Ghostbusters. Like Ghostbusters, that, that shit was a flop. That shit was a fail. Like I said, shout out to, to, to the actors and everything like that, you know, for doing their thing and all that shit. But like I said, when it comes to the directors and the producers and the writers, that shit was garbage, trash. That's my shit. 
Ghostbusters, the uh, Power Rangers. It's my shit. I can't even imagine what the fuck they would do with Mortal Kombat if they tried to bring that shit out. I'm gonna have to call somebody because if they if they did try to do that and 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 bring it out and fucked it up, I'm gonna call somebody. I will. I will call. I will call or I will write, and I keep doing it because I'm a I'm a reference this video and had them listen to it. Like I said, in all my videos, when I'm talking about movies and everything, I'm an inspiring screenplay writer. I could have did that shit way better. The buildup was too fucking long. They could have covered so much fucking ground in that damn movie. The I mean, the buildup was like, it's like motherfuckers rapping and shit. The chorus forever. It's like, okay, we get it. We get it. Now, what you going to spit? Spit your verse now. They didn't do it. I was almost falling asleep. The only time that I kind of, I kind of woke back up, is when they started doing the simulation with the with the putties and shit. That's when I kind of woke up. I mean, you know, motherfuckers wasn't these people wasn't driving in the original Power Rangers. There weren't no police involved. They weren't getting in trouble and all that. And you know, I mean, you got Alpha Five looking like ET with a um a, a saucer on his head. And, you know. I'm just like ah, the only, I mean, the, the, I I gave him a point. I gave him about, I gave him I gave him two points. Well, let me break down the points I gave him because I gave it I, I gave it a four out of ten. I was gonna say that for later, but I gave him a four out of ten. I gave him a point for, um, for Zordon, for making his you know head be able to float you know go side to side instead of just being in a tube or whatever that was. So I gave him I gave him that. I gave him two points for um having the the morphing thing, having them having to concentrate and fill it. I gave I gave them a point for that. And the last point I can't think of right now, but I will think about it before the video is over. The 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 mask, I mean the suits and all that other shit, nah. I wasn't feeling that either. I wasn't. I was not feeling these day suits. The shit coming over their body, looking like some fake ass avatars and shit like that. Nah. Keep it. Keep the shit one hundred. Keep stay with the recipe. Stick with the recipe. I mean, then you got Goldar, looking like a, a burnt, a burnt candle that already got dried up. I mean, he just walking around and shit and. Oh yeah, the, yeah. The last point I gave him was for Rita. I mean, anybody could have played Rita. I mean, Nicki Minaj could have played Rita. I mean, she was just she she was. I don't know. I I just suspected them to get Rita Rita. That's Rita Repulsa. God damn it. She don't give two fucks about shit. She don't give a damn about her own. They didn't have her little helpers. They didn't have none of them. They ain't had none of her squad. It was just she going around eating gold and and trying to find where Goldar was. She should have just fought him and shit. So I, I gave him a point for Rita. You know, Rita was probably was the best the best thing that in the movie. She she was killing people and shit. She was murdering motherfuckers and shit. Something that was unheard of in the uh, in the series. So that's that's just that's four out of ten. Rest of that shit was boo boo, was garbage. Didn't like it. I said, please hurry up and end so we can go, so I can leave. Megazords, garbage. Very garbage. You know, it was like a that the fake ass transformer. You know, it's just like nah. For the first one, really, uh. And like I said, I can't even imagine them trying to make another one. The the part two, you know, I, I can't even imagine them trying to do that. I mean, the original Power Rangers movie, it was, it was cool. I don't really remember. I remember Ooze, but it was, I think Lord Zed, Lord Zed was in that motherfucker. I think they was all in there. I, I think, I don't know. But that was better than this one. And that was years ago. That one was better. You know, so I can't even see them trying to come out with, you know, 
with the second one. Y'all didn't even cover no ground. So y'all, y'all, y'all can't come out with the second one with Tommy and, and Lord Zed and everything else. Then try to introduce Bulk and Skull. Fuck that. No. Supposed to do that in the beginning. You that's why you save space. Save up space, you know, with the story and shit that you gotta explain for the second one. Bulk and Skull should have been in the second in the first one instead of trying to make them in the second one. If they gonna do that. But like I said, if it was up to me, I'd be like, we gotta do another one. Cause if they hear this shit, they'd be like, he he he's right. I mean, they could have had somebody really write the shit for real who used to watch the shit. Who can write? Who can really write? I could tell you about the motherfucking episodes and shit like that. Like, I stopped watching the shit after after they got out of that samurai shit. And they started going in the turbo. And all, I was like, nope. First of all, I'm getting too old. Second of all, I don't see no more familiar faces. I mean, people people started popping up back in, back in and out. But, you know, me, I was young. I was... I was trying. I was. I was in heat, so I wasn't even worried about it. But even when, even when they used to play the throwbacks, I sit there and I watch them. Like, damn, like I'm growing up. So I don't know. I don't expect them to do a second one. I expect them to remake another one. If they don't, more problem to them. If they do, I hope it to be better. But if they do, I'm gonna try to get in contact with somebody. I'm going to try to get in contact with somebody just to throw something. Like, hey, let me write half of it. If y'all don't like it, trash it. Just let me write something. Just to give y'all give y'all some creative energy or whatever. Because that creative energy, I wouldn't feel nothing creative with that goddamn movie. I just said the first motherfucker they came through was like, this is what we're going to have right here. This is genius. This is perfect. I looked at the motherfucker like, you can't be serious. Like, I'm going to walk out. I'm going to leave. And I'm going to leave the door open I ain't closing it or nothing I'm just going to leave I'm going to knock over some styrofoam cups on the way out Like did you hear that shit They really finna go with that bullshit Like I said God forbid They try to make a, a Mortal Kombat like that Like I'm going to call somebody I'm going to have some strong words In a respectable way Whether I call somebody Or I have to uh, Write a letter I'm really gonna have to have some words with somebody because I'm like y'all can't y'all can't do this to us. I mean it's a, it's been plenty of movies that y'all got away with y'all done messed up. People are like oh it was that that was a great movie y'all I don't know what the hell y'all thinking. Like I said, first of all, first y'all did Ghostbusters y'all fucked that up. Now y'all doing Power Rangers. What's next? Mortal Kombat. I uh, I ain't letting that one happen. I ain't letting that one happen. That goddamn Power Rangers should have went straight to DVD. And y'all know it. Straight up. Y'all know that motherfucker should have went straight to DVD. That motherfucker was Netflix quality. Put that bitch on Hulu. That shit should have never made it in theaters. I don't know what the hell they was thinking. But anyway, I'm ranting though. So, like I said, 4 out of 10 stars. Trash. Boo boo. And I think most people will agree with me. If you are a real, real Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fan and you grew up on this shit like I did and you were at that time and you were young enough where you can watch it, niggas leave school and and it, it wasn't, it, it wasn't no bullshit to us. It was like power. It was like love and hip hop. That shit was, was um, empire. We didn't miss no episodes. Niggas went straight home from school. And the niggas that got rides was lucky. Nigga like me had to walk home. Niggas got rides, so they got there when the shit was popping off. I get there and missed half of it. 15, 20 minutes of the shit. Had to go to school and hear the motherfuckers. Oh, you see? Oh, man. Fuck y'all. Anyway, this is Versatility Vision. Like I said before, 4 out of 10 stars. Trash. Boo-boo. I'm out.